So you've already seen the title and thumbnail of this video um, and we are going to be tricking the Tesla Model 3 in terms of changing this speed limit from a 60 to other speed limits. And let me show you how this is going to work. Come over here. So I have made a mixture of different road signs, different speed limits, even speed limits that probably don't even exist, like this one, 99. Uh, we've got some stop signs. We also have a traffic light stop sign and see if that will work and if we can trick it. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into this video and get inside the car. Just before the video begins, why not hit that subscribe button because 99.2% of you are not subscribed to this channel, but you continue to watch my videos. So if you are new, hit the subscribe button and let's get straight into the video. So the first test we have to see if it will work is changing this 60 mile an hour road into a 10 mile an hour road. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some speed up. We're gonna put this car so that it's controlling the speed and I'll change the speed down, right down so it's not doing 60 mile an hour. So it's currently doing 25. What we can do, to, let's do it slower actually. Let's go down to 15 miles an hour. As you can see now, we're safely standing. There's a 10 mile an hour road sign. Um, and let's see if it changes to 10 mile an hour. Oh, and there we go. It's changed to 10 mile an hour road. There was people there, so it did break, which was, um, yeah, but you can see now it's a 10 mile an hour road. So if I continue along this road, it will continue doing 10 miles an hour. I'm gonna go back up here, turn around, do exactly the same thing, but this time there is a 10 miles an hour and a 20 miles an hour and see what happens. As you can currently see, as we've changed the speed limit now to 10 miles an hour, it's still thinking this is a 10 mile an hour road until it sees another sign and then it will change back to that speed limit. So it now thinks this road is a 10 miles an hour road rather than a 60 mile an hour road, which is quite impressive that we've been able to trick. The first test has worked. So, right, let's turn around again, put it back, what's it? cruise control is available let's put it into cruise control there we go so now it's set to 15 miles an hour as we did before currently 10 miles an hour so it's actually flashing now to say we're going over the speed limit well we're not because we know this is a 60 mile an hour road because it's a, a country road to national speed limit as we're coming along now let's slow it down again to 9 miles an hour and see what it picks up as we're coming let's go even slower actually so we've got a 10 miles an hour as you can see on the on the left and a 20 miles an hour on the right. Let's see what it picks up. Let's see if this one works. It's picked up a 30, picked up a 20, but it's continued to keep this well as a 10. And let's just go back now. Let's reverse a bit and let's see what it does and see how the navigation picks this up. Let's do it. Bring that out. So it's picked up the 10. It's got a, a 10 and a 20, but it's picked up the 10. So maybe that's because that's the first one it's picked up. If we reverse back and we come back down here now, slowly. Still picking up the 20 and the 10. If we go through, still saying it's a 10 miles an hour road. And then the other one disappears. So it's not quite sure. I mean, this scenario would never ever work, uh, be in the real world unless a, the signs were uh, moved. So one side was flipped around. If it was say a 40 mile an hour coming this way and a 20 going that way. But let's go, now it's saying it's a 30. So why is it saying it's a 30? So it's picked up the 20 and it's picked up the 10. So it's actually there, it's merging the 20 mile an hour sign and the 10 mile an hour sign and making this a 30 mile an hour road. That's very interesting to see that it's done that. It's actually changed that sign now. Oh, 10, 10, that's saying it's a 10. If I go back again, let's have a look. For some reason, it doesn't like this one over here. So if I come over a bit, maybe it's not picking it up correctly. No, it was saying it's a 30 mile an hour road then. And if we come 
I'll say it's still picking up the 20. But it thinks this one here is further away than this one. So I'm guessing it's because if I carry an hour going through and go past this one, will it change it to 20 miles an hour? So yeah, there we go. So it did, there we go, it's 20. So it thinks this sign on the right hand side is actually further away than the 10 mile an hour. And this is interesting, we're in between now and it's changing, 10, 20, 10, 20. So it doesn't actually know what the speed limit is. It keeps changing it. If I move forwards a little bit, it's probably gonna to change to 20 miles an hour. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so it still thinks it's 20, still thinks it's a 20, because I'm reversing now, but if I put it into drive, it's now thinking it's a 30 mile an hour road. Okay, so we've actually tricked this one. I think that was a success. It doesn't really know what to do. Scenario may never exist in the real world, but could happen. So the Tesla doesn't know what to do. Cool. Right, on to the next one. For this test, we're going to do exactly the same thing, come back down in um, cruise control, but this time we have a green traffic light. So will it create a fake tra traffic light stop sign? And we know when we're in autopilot based on the new update, you have to manually um, say whether or not you're happy for the car to proceed through a green or red traffic light. So if that's the case, it will say to me, you have to manually give it permission to go through that green light. And again, we know it's a fake traffic light and it isn't going to go into, <coughs> it isn't actually there. So let's come back in again, 15 miles an hour in cruise control, come down this again, 60 mile an hour road, but as you can see, it's still 10 miles an hour. So it's picked up from the memory from before um, even though that sign is now no longer there and as we're coming along now if I change it slower so so we don't go too fast um, is it going to pick up the fake traffic light sign and it's not it's not picked it up so let's see if now if I reverse let's see if we can get it to pick up I'm going a little bit slower no it's not even picking that up doesn't even recognize that as a traffic light sign although I do know this will work um, maybe it's just my printed traffic light sign isn't working in this scenario so if he stuck the corners because the the paper was peeling away from the cardboard um, <laughs> but no, it's not picking it up at all. It doesn't even recognize that as a genuine traffic light sign. I think, and I have seen this work um, before, um, and I just think it may be my traffic light sign isn't close enough to a, a proper UK traffic light sign. Okay, maybe let's try it in red. Let's see if that makes any difference. Put into drive, let's drive along. Hopefully this is enough speed. Pop it in going to pick it up no it's not picked it up so it's not created that f false um, traffic light sign okay that one hasn't worked so let's move on to the next one again same scenario as before um, we're gonna put it into cruise control now it's thinking it's a 60 mile hour road so I'm gonna have to really slow it down otherwise we'll be flying past um, let's put it into 10 miles an hour. As you can see in the same place where all of the other signs have been, we've now got the stop sign. Now we don't really have stop signs over here in the UK, it's very rare, um, but let's see if it will pick it up. And yeah, there we go. Oh, it did then. I don't know if you saw that, but for a second it did flash up as a stop sign. So let's see if we can pick it up again on here is it going to pick it up there we go there we go we've got it oh it went there it is stop sign as as picked up uh, I think what we need to do is rotate the sign so let's see if it let's see if I drive pop it in it's gonna go 60 mile an hour right ah, it's gonna go way too fast there we go, it did pick it up there, but we went too fast. Let's see if we can just 
drive slowly now, cruise down this road. There we go. It is picking it up. It is picking it up. There it is. So if we zoom in, zoom in. If I go a bit more, will it pick it up a bit more? There it is. So it's actually created a fake stop sign here. And as you can see, it has that gray mark, or it did have that gray mark. It's still a bit twitchy and I'm not too sure why it's doing that. Maybe it is just the road signs. Last time we're gonna go around here, I think. Let's get all the way down now to the slow speed limit. I'm not gonna put my foot on the brake or anything. Let's put it into 10 miles an hour just so we can get the speed going. Let's see what happens when we do this. So, 10 miles an hour. I can see the stop sign, but can the car see the stop sign? And, yep, yeah, there we go. And it stopped. There we go. So we've just successfully created a stop, a fake stop sign. If I now pull down on the gear stick once, it will say I can go forwards. It will change, it will normally change to green and then I can continue the, the journey. So we have successfully there created a fake stop sign. Um, what I think was is just the angle was incorrect on the road. So it wasn't fully picking it up. Um, so that's probably going to be an issue. So the next one we have, we're gonna see if we can actually make the car go faster than the actual speed limit. So it's reset now back to 60 mile an hour road. We've got a sign down there or a road sign that says 200 miles an hour. Now I'm pretty confident that Tesla would never ever um, sort of program a 200 mile an hour road sign limit because that doesn't exist, you know, <laughs> not in the UK anyway. So let's see if it does work and whether it's been programmed or been disabled as part of Tesla's um, road sign recognition. So, same same old scenario as before, get to 10 miles an hour, put into cruise control, turn the cruise control down. And I think Sophie's got some problems there, so let's just do that again. It's fallen over. Yeah. Turn it right down, there we go. She's running away, right. So 10 miles an hour. Is it going to pick up a 200 mile an hour road sign? Confident that this one probably will not work. Let's go towards it. And uh, no, it did pick it up there. Don't know if you still briefly, it did. Um, and let's get back there. We'll probably be able to pick it up again if we pass by but it picked it up as a 20 mile an hour road sign. There we go. There it is. So 200 mile an hour, 200 mile an hour road sign just picks up as 20. So I guess in Tesla's programming, they're only programming it to pick up two numbers. So where there's more, it just thinks it's a 20 mile an hour road. As you can see now, it's changed to 60 mile an hour road into a 20 zone. And if I can continue on this road now, it will just continue as a 20 mile an hour road. So that is the end of this video where we trip the Tesla Model 3 in terms of changing the speed limit of this 60 mile an hour road. I think it was successful. Uh, there were some issues, especially with the traffic light sign, but I think that could be due to the actual traffic light itself and the way it looks. But we'll again try that in another video where we can maybe try and trick it and see if it can work. If you did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new around here, why not hit that subscribe button because we have plenty more videos on electric vehicles, autonomy and consumer tech. Thank you for watching and I'll see you.